OK, we're setting off here in Stockport at a height of about 70 metres, heading off towards Glossop first of all, and then onto the Snake Pass, going to the highest point at 512 metres, carrying along over the hills and dropping into Sheffield at Stannington, and then coming round to the Meadow Hall. Area. Which is a total distance of 41 miles. So I'm just calculating the distance here just to confirm. One hour, 41.5 miles. Okay, we're ready. Right, lights on. Lights on. Heater, demister, low. Alright, do we need a set nav? No. Park, reverse, neutral, drive, economy. We want economy mode. And they're off. We're off! So this is going to be a test for the car. This is the ultimate test, we're just above freezing point presently, but also hills. And we've got a 40 mile journey ahead of us. 16 bars, so it's fully charged. And it's two is now brave enough at the beginning of the journey to switch the heater on. Being very bold so I can actually see. <laughs> I've got to be extra careful, I'm in economy mode. And you can see it's struggling here on the hill, or eco mode, uh, which uses a third of the power of the motor. And then, if I've got a bit more to spare, I might even be adventurous and put it in drive. I think we should save some electricity and turn the radio off. I don't know if you can turn it off. You know, I can't. It doesn't. Uh, I can't seem to turn okay. it off. It's just uh, the power is supply source. No, I think we might as well go down with a song. Very civilized. Yeah, I'm gonna, okay. and you can see here there's on the eco dial it shows um, how the engine is doing. If you put put a foot down you can see it becomes less economical. So as you take your foot off the off the or is it you actually put it into a different gear? Right, my, my foot is off the, the throttle now. Go straight in. Yeah. Right, I'm actually put it in B. Put it in B then, it's charging. Okay. Not advisable because the brake lights don't show and I've got it in E. So there's no foot brake then. No car behind me, so... Yeah, we're, we're not climbing so much anymore. This was for the top though. feeling in this car that you should be driving fast all the time. It seems like you're slowing down. But you can't, don't you? You're constantly aware of that charge gauge. I imagine if you had the car for a while and you were doing the same sort of journeys, you wouldn't think about it. Oh, right, over the highest point on the state pass. Oh, I feel a bit better. Put it into B. I think that will slow it down a bit. Oh, I can in B. E. The one is going too slow. 
feather in the throttle, I'll give it a bit and then take my foot off. Right, E, okay. It's 30 maximum speed here anyway, so stick it in the braking mode. I'm going to go too slow, dude. It's 30. So you can see where we've got hot marks from last winter. Is that what you're saying the road was like that? Oh, it's terrible. It's, uh, it's been patched up. It's up a halfway. Yeah, probably not. It's only about 20 kilometres now, so slightly under, I'd have said. How many bars have we done? To you know? We've got nine. We're off main beam to conserve energy. Because uh, we're now on five bars and... Uh, it's going to be a close call. Doing 21 miles per hour, I've got no truck behind me. It's safe. This is down to the wire. Absolutely well and truly. Well, there's three left on it. Three bars left. Yeah, but that's what they recommend you to charge it at. That light will probably come on. 1.3 miles. Where the lights are? Right. The lights of Meadow Hall, we've made it, man. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It's flipping stressful. Let's see what the chart is. Three bars. I'm overcome with emotion. What's that beeping mean? It's just my seatbelt. Oh, I thought it would be the... Recharge, I don't believe it. 